Hey guys, I'm Reno. This is Armor Coating and uh, Mid 10 Designs, and we're our worldwide headquarters. Today, we're going to walk you through the whole process of taking an idea and uh, putting it out to a finished product to a con customer or sell it online, multiple ones. So, uh, first, we'll start you out over here. Come on, follow me. So here we'll uh, bring up the images, we'll do all the CAD design, do the correct sizes and everything. Take a blank sheet of metal, uh, 16 gauge, 12 gauge, whatever the case may be for that particular sign or uh, logo or artwork. Put it on the plastic table, cut it out. And then uh, after that's done, we'll finish up here. We'll roll it over to our sandblasting area. blasting profile on the flag. Uh, now I'm going to smooth it out and give it a shiny appearance uh, so that way candies and stuff like that will work really great over the top of this and you'll see an extraordinary flag. Also, be sure y'all guys stay tuned to the complete end. Uh, i got a special surprise for you, so look out. Alright guys, so I'm going to clean this up and shine it up. I wanted to let you know, I know it's loud right now, but this is an easy strip uh, CGW uh, this removes paint, but it also takes the sanded surface and makes it shiny. Here we go. sign all shined up and nice looking. Uh, I'm going to uh, heat this metal up and give it a blue tint. Uh, that'll enable it to be less coats on the final product but still give it that American flag feeling or look. So uh, check it out. So I'm just slowly uh, letting the heat start to heat it up a little bit. It's kind of all overall. And then when you 
start, you start at your lowest point or whatever and go up. I'm still kind of learning this myself. Uh, but as it starts to tarnish, just kind of move over and it'll blue out. If you stay too long, it'll start turning another color. So we went through the whole process from uh, making it, designing it, cutting it, cleaning it, blasting it, and now we just mask it. Which I would have showed you a video of it, but it's just simple. You know, mask off the areas that you don't want coated. Uh, now we're gonna put it in the booth and put a little red on it. Disclaimer, I know I'm not wearing a mask, but it's kind of hard to wear a mask and talk to you. It would be just really quick and easy because we do have a pretty good uh, uh, atmosphere exchange through the booth. cure on it bring it out remove all the tape and then we're gonna add the clear to it uh, and we'll do a little part on that too and we'll have a finished product all right we got the masking tape removed now we're about to lay some clear on them pull these guys out of the oven and here you have it a uh, really awesome tethered american flag and we have four of them united states flag all that uh, just to recap design plasma cut clean the dross sandblast shine it back up mask it clean it powder it cook it finished product so and i told y'all there was going to be a something you need to stay tuned towards the end for we're gonna be giving this dude away uh, through my YouTube channel for you guys all you got to do is just comment and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe man check out my Facebook page my Instagram it's all under armor coating armor coating incorporated um, we appreciate it and I also want to be a big thanks you know you see me on the camera but we also got Brendan is the uh, video guy that helps me out with all this and does everything with my YouTube my wife, which is a really great support, Bobby, she's in the office doing paperwork. Jonathan does all the cuts on the plasma table, the CNC designing and stuff like that, and does all the metal work. And it's an awesome process that we all enjoy because you never know what the next day brings. So uh, keep watching and uh, we'll have some more videos for you guys and hope you all learned something and had some fun. Y'all have a great day.